we made it. Finally, we found wildebeest. We have also found this beautiful spotted cat who I want to see if, if it is a male or a female. You look very much like a girl. I do not see any of the bits that make you a man, but we'll have a quick look. Let me just keep um, up with her. So I have a story to tell you. I met with one of the wardens and he actually gave me the info on this cheetah, how kind of him. He said that he watched it chase after Impala and grab an Impala lamb and then unfortunately lose it to the hyenas, which is sad for the cheetah, but it works out well for us because it means someone's hungry. Except we want this cat to, oh, let's not, let's not drive us into any holes. We want this cat to, of course, uh, stay on the left hand side we don't want it to come to the right because we can't off-road on the right hand side so i'm going to give her a bit of space and there's plenty of wildebeest around there's also loads of what else is there some impala some zebra i'm just scanning some topi let's go up here what we will have to do though at some point before this gets too exciting is very quickly put the infrared light on but I just wanted to show you all this beautiful cat it's so nice to see and we also just con quadruple check that it is not a boy no nah, doesn't look like it very lean though could do with a meal don't you think So let's see what's going to happen. Where are you going to go? Who are you going to go for now? You better be careful go that, going that way, though, because I did see some lions in the an area where we can't off-road, and they're so far off the road that, unfortunately, it's no good for us, especially when it gets dark. You know, during the day, it's different, but we lose light, and our infrared lights can only go so far. Oh, built for speed. I mean, have you ever seen anything as fantastic as a cheetah i think i'd choose a cheetah over a sports car <laughs> and i think they could do a better job too never seen a sports car catch an impala but hopefully we'll see this cheetah catch one this is very cool now i don't know what cheetahs roam around this area i've never been here before this is my first time so we'll have to learn together we're basically what are we we are eastish of purungat gate but still in the triangle, so I don't know what cats like to hang around here at all. Hmm, let's see, Craig, let's follow her. But like I said, we're going to lose light fast. And before it gets too exciting, before she does go and chase something, we'll have to put those infrared lights on. Otherwise, you are not going to see anything. We're going to miss the hunt. But we came racing here. cheetah weighs she she looks fairly underweight because of well she hasn't had a meal but oh the, you might you not how much she weighs how, how much the tail weighs well that tail is just about the length of her body um i wouldn't know i'm sure it's got a little bit of cartilage muscle not going to be much fat there but i don't know if it'll weigh too much at all maybe less than a kilogram but who knows? I'm quite happy not ever knowing how much a cheetah tail weighs. Just because I can only imagine one way that you'd wear it, and that would be a cheetah without a tail. So let's let's not even worry about how much it can weigh. Let's keep it on. Is it a girl? I keep, can't see very well. Craig, can we zoom right? We need to get right in there. See, I can't, you know, I think I'm fairly confident that it is a female, but watch it surprise me. She's very tall. I suppose I'm so used to seeing so many leopards out and about that a, a cheetah, a, well, in, in stature is obviously a lot more slender. But the cheetah are definitely taller than those leopards. Oh, it's so lovely. We didn't find the leopard though. There was also apparently a leopard sighting. Uh, we had a little look, but there's the possibility though that because they are quite shy out here, they're not like the Sabi sand leopards that uh, possibly it ducked off into one of the drainage lines. Now, Chantal, I don't know if you heard me, but we're gonna have to put our infrared lights on because she's obviously on the move, so she might be looking for something to eat. 
what on earth are you? Craig, can you see that tiny little bird on the ground? Uh, you got, oh, I have no idea what that is. Someone take a screenshot, please, and share it with me because I'd like to try and figure out what it is. I don't think it's a mannequin. No, it's running bizarrely on the ground. It runs like a ground-dwelling bird. Never seen that before, but I shall figure out what it is if you take screenshots. Remember, hashtag Live, and then I can identify it for you later. I'm going to be out for most of the night, so I'll be able to do that. I'm Chantal, are you still there?